The focus is looking really good. I'm really happy with it, but it just needs ledge to it, and I don't want to do some big old front splitter with rods. Then we have to do big old side skirts. Then we got to do a rear diffuser, and it's just gonna take a lot of. It's just a big step, and I feel like the good place to stop that I like. I like the way this car looks right now. I think we're gonna add a little pizzazz to it. In this envelope, we got some tire stickers. Now we got the permanent ones, and uh, I had ordered the uh, temporary ones, and I wasn't really a fan of them, so. I uh, ordered the permanent ones, and here we are. We're gonna put them on and do this together. So I got the Proxies and Toyo tires because we are running those on this car, and I really like the look of it. So in this package, you get some gloves, you get some glue, you get the tire stickers themselves, and some Rubber Bright tire lettering cleaner. And then we have our directions right here, so I'm really excited. This is really gonna set the car off, in my opinion. Um, we got our gloves use for the whole process we got our big old thick rubbery tire stickers in the kit I'll have a link in the description so you guys can order this and then we got the tires and the Toyo then we got our glue it's got a nice little tip on it so we can uh, finesse some little edges that come up or anything like that you'll see later on and then we got our cleaner nice blue stuff looks like Gatorade Now, luckily, I had acetone with me, but go to your local Ace Hardware, Home Depot, whatever. Most stores have it. A grocery store might even have this. They probably do. Um, this is just good to have in your garage. Great for cleaning things. Um, ideally, you'd want to use a white rag so you know how much you're getting off the tire. So I'm just going to hit this, like, just this one area, like, 10 plus times. And be careful with acetone. It'll dry your skin out really bad. It'll literally go through gloves. So I'm going to sit here and scrub this whole area down and get in the little grooves 10 plus times until I know for a fact that this is for sure clean because we really want these to stay on. No. We are ready to rock to put these first proxies on there to get a little bit of acetone and hit the back of the decals gonna go lightly with the wet part of my rag we're gonna start with what we can apply pressure to let's do the first four letters so prox just enough glue on here I'm gonna spread it I'm gonna squeeze it out and I'm gonna spread it around real thin even layer we have a couple minutes of set time to move this around so no stress so I'm squeezing a little bit and then skating around on it because we don't want any oozing and mess showing you have to clean up later. So you can kind of maybe see right there, I have it on most parts right there. I'm gonna get this edge real quick. I've been so excited about having tire lettering on a car, but nothing ever jumped and screamed at me like the perfect opportunity. So the what I have envisioned for how this car is gonna look when it's done with this tire lettering, um, rather excited about for such a minor modification I'm gonna get ready and place it on looks pretty good all right I'm gonna apply pressure for 30 seconds Now I'm going to go ahead and peel back the EMS and apply some glue to it. Went a little heavy on that. All right, put pressure for 30 seconds. All right, we'll let that sit for five minutes and then we'll peel it back and check out our first results. Five minutes has passed, set a timer on my phone. Let's pull from this edge. So far, so good. Sweet. So they've got a little film on them, like a like a new phone. 
Oh, there's that pure white I'm looking for. That looks nice. I'm going to leave that on there because I think what that there is there for is so we can check all of our edges. And if we need to tap up any with glue, which we would do like so, I'd stick it up in here and fix it. We don't get it on the white and ruin it. So all the edges seem pretty good first try. Just for this one, I'm going to go ahead and peel these off so we get a final look. It's pretty easy to do on the car, but I actually thought about it. I'm going to go ahead and crank all the lug nuts loose, pull each wheel off, and then do it laying flat on each wheel, and then I can take the time to clean the wheel while I'm at it. It's just a much better idea to do this once and do it right so that these things last a long time and they don't peel up. looks sick what I'm digging about this is it looks like a car from a video game now even more so looks like a toy car which is a plan dang <laughs> looks super cool to show off we're lucky my buddy Haas is here Haas what's up we'll right. show his car in a sec it's, you guys will like it but Haas gonna hop in here, we're gonna start it, go shoot a thumbnail, and then show some uh, clips in the street of what these tire letters look like, because my favorite is like the five to 10 mile an hour range, like parking lot speed with tire letters. It looks pretty trick, so let's check it out. <laughs> it looks sick, it looks like Forza. Let me know down below if you guys like the tire letters. I'm personally a big fan of it. I think it looks pretty trick. I think this car needed that edge like I'd mentioned earlier. So I'm super pumped on it. Tire stickers are in the description. But before we go, I want to show you guys. Pause, tell us about your what year GTR. Give us a nine to get a little quick story. Uh, it's 92 GTR. I got it when I was over in Florida. Uh, immediately had to rebuild the engine. Did it yourself? Uh, You're in UTI. Did it myself, yeah. I'm going to UTI right now. I've rebuilt the engine. Uh, CP pistons, 262 Tomei cams. It's got 
basically stock rebuilt turbos with uh, N1 components and uh, it's got an HKS racing suction kit with uh, Gretti filters. Still running MAFs right now. Um, I had an oil filter relocation on there but it was leaking so I just went back to the filter on block. Uh, Tomei baffle plate in the oil pan, uh, coil rad radiator, uh, it's got a exity clutch, um, a Fidanza flywheel, uh, R1 Concepts brake pads, LMG T2s, Falcon Azenus tires. What yeah. are these wheels called again? Ray's LMG T2s. Yeah, these are hard to find. You guys have probably seen that. Now Dustin posted about them and some stuff like that, but this car is pretty sick. You let me sit in it. This is the first car I've sat in that's right hand drive. Um, pretty rad feeling. It's cool that if you didn't know, that first gear is still in the same spot, even on left hand drive cars. So your sixth gear is close to you when you're driving right hand drive. Um, yeah, you got to get to yourself some credit for this. You built the motor in your apartment? In my house. In your in house. In my living oh, room. Oh, yeah, in your living room at your in house. In my living room. I'm on an engine stand. Took me two weeks. <laughs> From 8 in the morning till 11 at night. Took me two weeks. And he built it before he learned most of the stuff at UTI. So he's finding out all the things that, you know, maybe could have done different, that would have been easier, stuff like that. So super pumped. You're about to get it tuned later this month, you said? Uh, on the 28th, yeah. yeah. I'm getting it tuned, yeah. So we'll probably see this car again. Haas is definitely going to be over. I didn't know he lived in Avondale, but he does. So I'm pretty stoked to have a friend with a GTR. That's pretty rad. Who doesn't like looking at this? So, like a little exhaust note. Yeah, let's start this thing up without Dan killing us behind us. RB26 life though. Three inch straight pipe all the way back from the turbos. All right, well, let us know if you guys want to see anything on this car. Haas, now that he lives close, I'm stoked. But uh, other than that, I'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure you click the playlist on the screen and also tire stickers in the description. If you want to go snag some for your car, I'm not sure if we'll do some on the Subaru in the future, but we'll see what happens. But.